Hello and welcome. We have our NBA prop show where yesterday we went three for three. Today is Thursday, February 8th, and we're going to be breaking it down and letting somebody know who won the money. We uh, will go over yesterday's winner later in the show. But as a reminder, if we go three for three, one commenter will win 60 bucks. So make sure you put those comments Put those likes. It helps us big time. Helps Shannon and I personally. Uh, you know, if you just like and comment, all that stuff, it feeds the algo. Helps the company. Helps us. So please do that. Also, we got our promo offers. If you want to join Lionstar, try us out for a month. You can get one month free if you join one of our promo uh affiliates which is parlay play sleeper underdog or chalkboard if you're a new customer to any of them you got to at least deposit 10 bucks i will shout out sleeper because they are doing a 500 dollar dollar for dollar match nobody else is doing that right now free money is a great edge i would absolutely recommend taking advantage of it and these pick em games do have a much wider uh legality than just straight sports betting. So if you can't prop bet, you might be able to do one of these. And I would absolutely check on that because it follows the DFS rules, not the sports betting. So if you can play DFS, you can probably play one of these. Now, let's get into the actual uh, picks themselves. It uh, is an interesting, interesting uh, slate of games we have here. The reason being is trade deadlines. Things have been moving all over the place. Trade deadline is coming up very, very soon. So there still could be a couple moves. So uh, keep that in mind when we're going over these. And if there's a trade that would have affected these, you know, use your best judgment or jump on the line star to see if uh, it's still a good bet or not. So our three bets that we are going to use for today are Aaron Gordon, John Collins, and Wendell Carter Jr. Um, I'm going to go over some a couple bonus bets for if you want them. Uh, just because we can. And also give you a little, you know, some other options of uh, bets in case one isn't there or has moved already. So, we'll start it up with Aaron Gordon Jr. 5.5 uh, .5 rebounds. Aaron Gordon Jr. It's just Aaron Gordon. Uh, 5.5 rebounds. We are going over here. Over his last five, he's averaging 6.8. He's hit the over in six of 10. Uh, over in the last three of five, he averages 6.2 rebounds per game over the last 20. Lakers are giving up 6.4 rebounds per game. I think it's a great spot for Gordon just to go over. He also has a lot of success against the Lakers of uh, going over on this. You know, they are very familiar foes. Played each other in the playoffs last year. Played each other as far as Western Division rivals. And uh, definitely are familiar with each other. And I think Gordon is going to get his today and get at least six rebounds. So I definitely like this spot for him. Next, we got John Collins. So I have two different John Collins bets here. We got over the PRA, points, rebounds, and assists at 22.5, and then 14.5 points. For our bet, I'm going to go 22.5. Uh, I wanted to put 14 there just in case that line moves too much, and then you could go points instead. But look, Kelly Olenek just got traded from Utah. Uh, because of that, I think there's just going to be a few more minutes open for Collins. I think he's going to be in the 28 in or 30 minute range. Uh, we have him right under 30 minutes. And if he's going to do that, I think he's going to crush this, uh, this line. He's been playing extremely well, averaging 15.1 points, eight boards a game. So right there, we got 23. You add in as 1.4 assists, you know, we're at 24 and a half. And yes, it is a good uh, opponent. They are good versus center. But frankly, I think that his averages are too high. And when his averages are in twenty at 25 minutes, and you know he's going to play another five more minutes on top of that, I think there's a lot of reason to uh, like John Collins in here. And I am absolutely going to go to him. I've already bet it. I like the spot. 
Uh, I do like 22.5 uh, PRA better than I do points. Uh, Suns have been pretty good at limiting points to the center, but they are still allowing a decent amount of rebounds and uh, assists. So I like the spot for John Collins, and I like the over. Uh, and I'm not afraid of that. He has been over an 8 of 10, averaging 26, over in four of the last five. All in all, I like the spot. Now, Wendell Carter Jr., so I really like the spot for Wendell Carter Jr., minus 115 in sports books. I also do like the uh, 19.5 points plus rebounds. So I did have that one selected. That did get pulled off some books. It might be back up by uh, the time you are viewing this, but I like that one as well as the 12 and a half points. So Wendell Carter Jr., 10 of 10 centers going against the Spurs have been over on this. All 10 <laughs> of the last 10 that have faced him. Over his last five, with those minutes going up, he's at 12.6 per game, gets the big bump. Over the last 20, he's at 10.4, but that's in 26.4 minutes. And he's playing more right around 30. We have him at 29.3, so it's similar to the Collins situation where he's getting a big bump up. In uh, points per 100, he's at 21.5 points per 100. And now that he's seen, you know, 28, even into the 30 minutes regularly, that 21.5 number is much more real. It's also a pace up spot, very weak towards the center in as far as scoring. So I like the spot for Wendell Carter Jr. quite a bit to go over. Uh, a couple other ones I'm going to just throw out there for you guys. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga, 26.5 points plus rebounds or 5.4 rebounds. Both of those to go over. Uh, and then Jeremy Sho uh, Soshan, 8.5 assists to go over. You know, they're both in good spots. Shoshan has been just doing much better than that. Seven rebounds, 3.3 assists. Over the course of the last 20 games, that's, you know, almost two over where the line is. And uh, Orlando Magics are still allowing more than what the line's at as well. So I like that spot as well. And then Jonathan Kaminga has just been an absolute beast over the last uh, month. So I don't mind going back to it. He's averaging 23 points over the last five games, 6.6 .6 rebounds a game. That's in 34 minutes, five extra minutes than what he has played all season. We have met 34 minutes now. I think he's going to get plenty of minutes, and he's in a game that is a huge pace up spot, 249 total. Uh, I like the spot for, you know, a bunch of different reasons, and I think Jonathan Kaminga gets there. So those are our five picks uh, today. Reminder, the three that will uh, go for the 60 bucks is... Aaron Gordon, 5.5, John Collins, 22.5, and Wendell Carter Jr. over 12.5. Those are the bets today. You guys, good luck on them. And the winner from yesterday going three for three is G Glock 54. Congrats. You get the money gun. You get the 60 bucks. Please uh, email me. Tyler at betfully.com and I can get you uh, situated for that uh, winner. Now, you all have a good one and I'll be back in a little bit with the DFS show. Let's go!